welcome back Alexandria and Daisy here and today we're bringing you another bath time video I'm just gonna be showing you my updated products exactly the same way I bathed her in my last video but just updating you on the new products that I've been using and loving so first off I like to keep my baby's products in a little plastic container because whenever I use them I usually have wet hands or I even have hair on my hands and putting it in a container like this ensures that you're not gonna get all the water everywhere and when you're putting it back into your cabinet you don't have to dry out every bottle you just put it in here and it won't erode away on the bottom of your cabinets so a little hack that I learned and then of course whenever I'm bathing her I love to use this Warren London shampoo and I also really love their conditioners they have a whole great line of products to be honest calming lavender shampoo aloe vera for healthy skin and coat with a light lavender scent and it is a light scent but it's very refreshing it's not overpowering and I like lavender a lot so I love it and then a new conditioner I actually picked up just today I even need to open it it's this one from uh, pet head like bedhead I wonder if it is from pet head I mean bedhead I really wanted to buy the peach or the watermelon but they only had coconut so you can actually purchase these online I'll leave all the links to everything that I'm showing you down below and this one is for delicate skin coconut with marula oil natural oils and extracts so I'm really really excited to try this one because it smells mm, so phenomenal so um, as well as whenever I condition her, I rinse it off and then I actually apply a leave-in conditioner and this one is a hydrating butter. This one is a non-oily hydrating treatment for dog skin and coat with guava and mango steam. So I do believe in, you know, leave-in conditioners and treatments, but I don't want it to like weigh her hair down because I like it to be extra fluffy. So this one really does a job. It leaves her like really soft and smooth. So I love that one. And one more little thing I wanted to show you guys was these two sprays. This one is a waterly shampoo spray from Silk. And then this one is a detangling and shine spray. So I apply this when I'm about to brush and blow dry. And probably the most exciting thing I added to my new grooming routine is a actual pet hair dryer. It's dedicated for pets. And it has like specific nozzles and settings that is perfect for your pet. I wanted to let you guys know I'm no longer using a actual human hair dryer on my dog. Just for the people that were worried about it. Obviously I wasn't going to overheat her or like burn her or anything. But just so you know, I have updated my routine based off of your comments. And thank you very much. Let's look at this hair dryer. So this is my new pet hair dryer specifically designed just for you. Boop. So if you can see, it obviously is a little bit bigger and heavier than a normal hair dryer, but it has your power button, your speed, and you can change it completely customized to where it's like super high or very low. And then of course you can add heat or no heat. And it also comes with a variety of different heads that you can change it out to, to get like the perfect style. So this one's like a little comb brush. I think this one's like for fluffing and styling. And washer in the kitchen because it has the spray nozzle along with the garbage disposal because she actually clogged my bathtub a few times so I just go ahead and put that little thing down there move this out of the way just in case and I also put a towel on the floor so that if there's any water that comes off it falls on the towel literally all sudsed up. I have to take my little brush and brush through their hair a little bit. Nice creamy one. I use much more conditioner than I used to because 
she has much more hair than she used to. It's like a salad. We're just putting all the dressing on. stains I recommend giving only purified water to your pet it'll help so much it's all the minerals in the water coming out in their tears before I blow dry her I turn over on her back and my legs and she totally doesn't mind like this and at this moment I actually go through her hair and this is the only time I can really see her skin that well and I make sure that she doesn't have any dry patches or fleas. Like, I'll just go through her fur. So once I check the top half of her belly, because usually the fleas, if there's any left, will run to her belly. But mommy, how do you feel now? Clean? Okay. So then, once I do the top half, I go ahead and cover her up. And I open the bottom of my towel. Oh my gosh, a flea, another one. I'm not trying to gross you guys out, but this is just like the reality. Summertime is the worst time on the planet Earth for fleas on your pet. And you don't want to get any type of like, you know, leftover things from fleas like bites and itching spots, hot spots. And you don't want fleas in your home. And fleas also carry diseases. So I would say in the summertime, I definitely bathe her more often. You're all clean. <laughs> I feel like this is me at the hospital when they gave baby Daisy to me. Oh my god. I just raised you for nine months in my belly. You're part of me. <laughs> I had a baby. Oh my god, I had a baby. <laughs> Woo! So now I'm going to put these on Daisy and then I'm going to start blow drying her. So I'm just going to turn on my hair dryer. Daisy. And that's the way that I bathe my Pomeranian Daisy. I hope it helped you guys out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Plus, I want you guys to leave your favorite products down below in the comments. 
I think my favorite product was probably the dryer since it is new to my routine. I think it's just best to have like a miniature version of what they use in an actual groomers. So this is like a smaller version of the big industrial hair dryers that they use at the groomers and it doesn't have a lot of heat. It is different than your normal hair dryer. It basically is like small, small amounts of heat, but it's perfectly altered for your pet. So that's why I love it the most. So like I said, I'll leave all the stuff that I use today down in the comments. I love you guys all so, so very much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.